it is monday which is leg day and you're probably wondering natalie what are some good leg day exercises that you do so i'm going to be taking you guys through my short and simple leg day specifically quad focused leg day and i'm going to take you with me to the gym and i'm going to show you how i one execute all the movements and two what movements i do so let's go to the gym and destroy our legs but before we go do that don't forget to subscribe to more and don't forget to like comment and share on this video as well as don't forget to follow me on all my socials which will be in the link down below let's finish this pre-workout yes i am using my brother's j fuel <laughs> shaker cup and let's get up and let's destroy our legs So I just did my warm up. I did a warm up set of squats. But now we're getting into the main session. So, the first exercise I always do on my leg day, specifically my quad focus day, is squats, specifically barbell back squats. You can do any type of squat, hack squat, um, front squats. But for me personally, I like to do barbell back squats and I'm going to show you the movement it is one of the best compound movements you want to start with a compound movement for all your sessions because that's going to use the most energy and you don't want to be dead doing squats at the end of the session or else you're just not going to execute the um, exercise well so you're going to put the bar my hair just underneath your lap, it's really not too high, and then I'm going to rack, Ooh, so I'm just doing 50, and you want your feet to be shoulder width apart, but I like to turn out my toes just a little bit, and then we just get into it, so let's get it, and just try and hit some of that. so glad I did it. So we're going to do four sets of six to eight on this way. So let's get it. So the next exercise we are doing are uh, goblet squats. Goblet squats, I feel like you either love them or you hate them. Oh, this is actually heavy. I personally love them because it has a more emphasis, emphasis <laughs> on the quads because you do have your feet elevated. So what you want to do, you want to get a plate or something. You can even use the ledge here. So you just want your feet elevated. I'm going to clip you guys. We're going to, instead of having the weight on your back, the weight is at the front. A lot of people don't like goblet squats because a lot of people find fatigue more in your arms holding the weight than your legs collapsing. So you want to hold the weight just under your chin and you're just going to perform it as a normal squat. I like to do this as a superset, so I do 8 to 10 with um, the weight. So I'm just doing 15 kilos at the moment because I'm a weak little chicken. 
and then we're gonna drop the weight and we're gonna do it uh, an arm rep, which is as many reps as possible to tell y'all. So, let's get to oh my god, my Oh my god. <laughs> I swear, every time I do no weight, my legs like just came in. But that's pretty much how we set up to do goblet squat. And I like to do these after my squats before my next exercise, which I will show you right now. So, the next exercise we are doing are the dreaded Bulgarian split squats. I like to add a lunge variation into like my quad slash leg day as it is a unilateral movement it is so good for those imbalances and just creating some balance between the legs because you are doing majority of your exercise bilateral which means two legs when you're running you're not running on two legs you're running on one leg so there's always going to be one dominant leg and i'm pretty sure my right leg is my most dominant so with Bulgarian split squats, we're just going to use the same thing. To make it quad focus, you just want to go up and down. Not really leaning forward, not leaning back. And you want your front foot to be closer to you to make it that quad focus. I don't do Bulgarians on my glute days because why would I talk to myself twice a week with Bulgarians? How now? So we just do it once a week. But yeah, I hold the weight on the leg that is forward and then we just go for it. We're gonna do three sets of six to eight because I'm a weak little chicken at the moment and because I'm on my belly, my strength is gone. <laughs> Alright, let's get it. This is my last exercise and it is leg extension so we're gonna set it up actually it's not my last one I do have calf raises but I'm not gonna film that <laughs> because you all know how to do calf raises actually no it's just like it's not a essential for quads it's just a little something that I do anyways all right 35 kilos leg extension it's pretty simple you just set it up to how you need to set it up. The majority of the time I just get on the seat because I don't want to think about it. So you have your little cushion here just on the top of your feet. And all you do is just press, press up. <laughs> press up. But this is probably the best quad exercise ever. Oh, that is way too heavy. Alright, we're going to go down a bit. Anyways, we're going to do three sets of 8 to 10. And on the last one, we're going to do a drop set. So we're going to drop the weight by 25%, 30%, just watch like half or even 50. And we're going to just do as many reps as possible. So
workout is done and that is my exercise with all that time routine on how to do grow how to do how to grow some juicy <laughs> chunk quads if you like this video don't forget to like like it don't forget to comment share it don't forget to subscribe to me as well and comment down below what you would like to see next or what would you like to see from me and i will see you guys on the next one and grow those juicy quads because quads are sexy and we love it <laughs> okay see you guys in the next one love you all bye